Hello my friends. Welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. And if you're back, as always, welcome back. Today I'm here with another small shop haul slash happy mail. <laughs> um, this is just a series of videos that I like to do relatively regularly where I share with you some of the different goodies that I've had come in, um, whether from uh, my many shopping purchases during the week um, and or happy meal that friends and viewers have sent me. So here is the haul for today and I'm going to go ahead and start with a package that came in uh, from a friend. So let's go ahead and get into it and I do want to mention right up front that if you're interested in checking out any of these small shops for yourself, um, I will be sure to link to every single one of them down in the description below. So please go take a look. I love supporting small shops and fellow crafters and creators in the community. Um, and I just want to share the love and share about them with all of you. So this package is from my friend Jamie over on Instagram. Her name over there is I think Jamie paints, Jamie underscore paints. And she asked if she could send me a little something for uh, my birthday and she was like I'm so sorry it's gonna be a little bit late I'm like please don't apologize you are so kind and so sweet um so she did write a fun note happy birthday Katie sorry this is late face palm emoji <laughs> I hope you had a great day love Jamie thank you so much Jamie I did have a really lovely day and I really appreciate how sweet and thoughtful you are to send over some goodies so oh my gosh is and Jamie is one of those people that is like a minder and pen queen. Oh my goodness, she has the most amazing con collections ever. Go and give her a follow. Okay, this is beautiful. Is this Geneva Bowers? Is this a Geneva Bowers sticker? Even if it's not, this is absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. And then look at these minders. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, super cute. <laughs> Hashtag extra, that is pretty accurate for me. And then look, oh my gosh, and this is like made of wood. This is so pretty and look at how beautiful that artwork is. That is so fun, oh, magnets, whoops. Thank you so much, Jamie, I love those. Oh. <laughs> That always happens to me with minders. We're just going to leave it. And then look, I think she knows my favorite color. Pink watercolor washi tape. Oh my goodness. Thank you so, so, so much, Jamie. That is so sweet and so kind of you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. It makes me feel very loved. Okay, let's go ahead and get into some other goodies. So this package, this is from, I'm so sorry for going to mispronounce this. Thea's Diamonds, um, and she had messaged me a little while back, and she is a fellow um, mom of little ones, and she had mentioned that she was trying her hand at making some um, diamond painting accessories and asked, like, can I send you some things? And I was like, no, 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 girlfriend, let me go make a purchase. I want to support your small business. I never, ever want um, small shops to just think that I I'm expecting or wanting them to send me things for free. I want to support small businesses and I love getting to support a fellow mom. So let's see what all is in here. So this is my invoice that has what I had ordered and it has been a little while. I'm so sorry. I'm just now getting to this, my friend. Look at all these cute goodies. Okay, where do I start? Uh, so... I think that she did include some extras, which is incredibly kind of her. Let me make sure. I think if I had to guess, that is supposed to go on there. Okay, first, let's take a look at the freebies. Um, hello, favorite, white mystery. Some other candies. I'll save that sucker for my kiddos. And then cute stickers. I love collecting stickers. <laughs> and then... So these were freebies that she included with her branding. Those are super cute. I, if I had to guess, I think that this magnet was probably attached to the back of this. That's okay. I have some glue that I can reattach that. And this is a minder as well. Love that. And yay for branding. 
I'm gonna set that in there. And then this is a tray that I had ordered and I'm really looking forward to trying this out. I ordered it, is this glow in the dark or is this clear? Glow. This glows in the dark, you guys. So I will have to try kind of like charging that up under light and see, um, obviously it's not gonna work in this context, but she has some different kinds of trays in there and I really was intrigued by this, um, this spot here. Wouldn't this be a really good place to put trash drills like as you're going through? I think that's so smart. There's the stopper, which I don't think I put maybe put in there correctly. Yeah, there we go. So this is really beautifully crafted. I'm not sure it feels like it's resin. Resin or 3D printed? I'm not entirely sure, but I love the look of that. And this is unique. I haven't seen that before. And then I really wanted to try out. So let me make sure I have this right. Let me check my slip again. So these are putties and I really thoroughly enjoy scented putties. Um, Oh, maybe that magnet went with this actually now that I'm looking at it anyway oh there it is okay okay hold <laughs> so this has putty scented putty in it and I just thought that was so cute because it comes on a keychain and has the little lid on it and this one is watermelon scented that smells so good. I love that. That's super cute. This is like soft. And I really, really love using scented putty in my multi-placers. Um, it really, that's my favorite, favorite thing to use. And then this is scented putty as well. I think it's really neat that she put them in these um, containers because with scented putty, you don't want it to dry out. So you want to, it's nice that these seal so it shouldn't dry out. And then look at sparkly, that's super cute. This one is in the cotton candy scent. Ooh, that smells so good. Now, I believe that as I'm looking at this and seeing this spot here, this was a minder, but here's the thing. I don't feel like I need my putties to necessarily be minders, so it's completely fine. I know when you put magnets up against each other in like shipping that sometimes they do funky things like that. So yay, like I said, this is from the shop uh, Thea's Diamonds or Thea's Diamonds. And I will of course link to her shop below. Go and uh, check her out. All right, let's get into, let's do, well, oh, I forgot. Okay, so this one's not technically a small shop, but it's something that you see in a lot of my videos. And this is an order that I placed and came in from Zox. And Zox makes these bracelets, which I'm wearing them here. <laughs> um, and they're made from recycled plastic and they have and like an inspirational saying on the one side. So like this one says, fight on. Um, and they come with a card, which you'll see. Uh, but I just, I love having a fun selection of these that I can coordinate with uh, one another if I want. But more importantly, just to like pick out, okay, what's the reminder that I feel like I need today? What's the affirmation that I need um, to be reminded of throughout my day today? So the one that I had picked out, this one I feel like was just about sold out. Um, this is Can't Rain All the Time. And this is the card that can come with it. It says, without darkness, one cannot know light. How true is that? I just, I loved kind of the message of this one. So again, here's kind of the outside of it. And um, it does have the stitching on the inside for, there's like a number, a limited number that they make of each one. Some are more rare than the others. There it is, can't rain all the time. Um, and like I said, some are much more rare than others. And there's like a whole cult following on Facebook where you can find retired straps and whatnot. I have been guilty of picking up um, a strap or two either in like the Facebook group or on Mercari or something like that. Um, but some of those go for just really exorbitant prices and I can't, can't quite wrap my brain around it. But I will pick some up from the Zox website from time to time like this one. So anyway, in this box, this is an order from La Douceur d'une Plume. They're located in Canada and she makes these absolutely beautiful trays and resin accessories. So it actually, um, this came pretty quickly and I like that it's wrapped so carefully. 
And her drops tend to sell out really quickly, but they're so beautifully crafted. Um, I believe the owner over there is Audrey. And I will link to their Instagram. And I think they have a Facebook group as well that they share with, is it Chouette Seer? Um, but yeah, they, they partner together a lot, I feel like. So I'll try to link to them in their Facebook group as well. And of course the shop. Uh, so Audrey must be the, the name of the owner. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have one tray and minder set from them, but I wanted to try out a different colorway and this one really caught my eye. So there's their business card, La Douceur d'une Plume, and all of their socials. Um, and their website is in both French and English. And this is, yeah, Chouette Seer. Um, yeah, so yeah, they have their Facebook group, like I said, and then instructions. So I, they must have included a sample. So yay, we'll take a look at that. Okay, uh, I believe this is a sample of a wax from Chouette Seer. And they've included some washi tape. And then stickers as always, Adam's my collection. <laughs> super cute super super cute and then this is the set was this a bonus i don't remember if this one is listed as coming with it but look at the little bear <laughs> so cute and then i have these and then look at this tray doesn't this just look like the night sky oh my goodness i have so many kits that this would coordinate beautifully with and these are just gorgeously crafted i love the colors in them and um i think that you know you might pay a bit for shipping if you're whoops not in canada but for all the canadian friends it's nice to have some accessory shops that you're able to shop from as well so yay thank you so much audrey over there now i think the rest of what i have to share with you today is pens <laughs> always pens so let's get into this is the one i think i've had kind of stashed away for the longest this is from shoot what is his name is it Layson? i don't know hold on i will take a look and i will tell you let me see if they've put business card in here yes they did whoops Gosh. Okay, yes. So this is from Lace and Lathe Works. Daniel's the owner over there. They have a Facebook group and they have an Etsy shop. That's really pretty. Handmade diamond painting pens and ink pens. So definitely go and check them out. But here's what I picked up. <gasps> Look at how pretty this is. Okay, so the minder. This was a bonus that was included. And then this absolutely gorgeous opalescent pen. I really, really love the turning on this one. I have mentioned before in, in kind of my small shop haul videos that have pens, I really enjoy pens that are intricate either when it comes to um, the, the, the blank itself or and or the turning. And this, I just thought it was so beautiful. It's really comfortable, it's pretty lightweight. Did it come with tips? I don't see any tips included. That is okay. I have, I'm double checking the package. I have spares. Um, yeah, that's not a big deal. I'm sure that I have spares. And maybe it's the kind of thing you can request. I'm not 100% sure, but yay, pens. <laughs> All right, let me get into, I have two more pen packages. <laughs> Okay, so this is from Pens by Maggie. Do you think there are nerds in there? That sounds like nerds to me. Uh, Pens by Maggie, they've got an Etsy shop. Don't roll away pen. <laughs> um, they have an Etsy shop. I wanna say that they also will post on Instagram when they're doing drops and whatnot. Um, for all of these shops, including Pens by Maggie, I will be sure to um, link to not only their actual storefront, but if they have any kind of social media where you can get more information about their product, um, such as a Facebook group or <laughs> just a Facebook page, uh, Instagram page, what have you, I will, I'll try to link to all of the things just to make it 
really easy to follow along with them. <laughs> oh my gosh, super cute wrapping. Uh, that's adorable. <laughs> Here's my packing slip. All right. And then we have, here's all of their info, pens by Maggie. And then, ooh, scratch to win, what? All right, I'll do that after this. And then it looks like some freebies, cute. And yes, nerds, <laughs> we were right there. <laughs> and then this is, oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm trying not to get confetti everywhere. Um, <laughs> I feel like the last time when I looked, there was something like buried in here. Well, I've just found some more candy. Do they have the tips or anything buried in here? That's okay. Okay. Adorable packing job, but let's, let's, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Super cute way to do that. Um, let's get into this. Oh, cute. There's Maggie. <laughs> I feel bad cutting into her sticker and cutting into her face. Um, I appreciate that it's packed so carefully and with such love. Oh my gosh, hello, beautiful. Um, this blank is just so pretty. And again, I just, I like the turning on it. This is a different grip than I feel like I usually see, but I like it. I really like that a lot. Oh, that is so pretty. It's really comfortable to hold from the multi-placing end as well. I think that this is one of the shops that they, she might even say she just includes a random. Uh, multi-placer or straightener so that's completely fine I use um, the metal the thin metal multi-placers anyway but look how pretty that is you can see through it a little bit and it's just very like neon and happy love it thank you so much Maggie I love it now this packaging you may or may not recognize this is from I'm trying not to okay just okay see Pubo a tour all the way from France and they tend to ship pretty quickly. Um, and you guys, this is another one of those shops, like many of these shops, that, oh my goodness, did they sell out fast. So, 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 so fast. Um, it's it's the kind of thing that I recommend joining their Facebook group, which, say plus beau à tour. This is a very French small shop haul. <laughs> but um, I'll link to their Facebook group. That seems to be the place where they post most of their information about upcoming pen drops because they will do some that are fast, I call them fast finger drops um, on Etsy where they're like, okay, at 10 a.m. Pacific time, these are going live in the Etsy shop. I have three to share with you today. Um, and so you just have to be fast. And then they also do some drops that are like, if you're interested in this pen, um, you know, just put, you know, put your name there and then um, we'll do a random comment picker later. So, all right. Oh my gosh oh my gosh it just looks so pretty i am in love with these pens that they make that have like the sponge spongy like loofah material inside i have nothing like this and that really is kind of my motto <laughs> that's like my mo when i go to pick out new pens is like do i have anything like this in my collection no, I don't think I have a gorgeous true yellow pen like this in my collection. And that is just gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And something smells good. I think that one of these must be a cinnamon pen. <laughs> um, that's the other fun thing is they have blanks that are turned with things like cinnamon and pine cones and whatnot. <gasps> Hello, beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this has just my happy place in terms of my color palette. This is like muted pastels, but they're like, I don't know. They remind me of like, like this looks like coffee, like coffee and creamer to me. And um, it's like a coffee drink or something, but I love, love, love this blank so much. These are turned really beautifully. They're um, not super thin, but they're not super thick. They're just, they're very comfortable and kind of ergonomic to hold these colors I love that so much oh my goodness okay this is a pen happy day you guys last but not least for this small shop haul and from my say plus beau tour order this pen which like I said it's been a little while like this has been sitting for a minute I don't even remember what all of these are but oh, that's right oh my gosh 
<sighs> so this has cinnamon in it. That's what these little swirls are. It actually smells of cinnamon. I do recommend that you are careful about how you handle any pens that you get from them that do have cinnamon in them. They tend to be a little bit more on the fragile side just by nature, but oh my gosh, again, it's this like sponge material um, and the colors in this just make my heart so happy. So I, I really am going to have to do an updated pen stash video at some point soon, I think. But you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this small shop haul. Like I said, I'm going to link to all of these shops below and would love for you to go and check them out, check out their social media accounts and whatnot. Show them some love. A huge thank you to my sweet friend, Jamie, again, for sending over this birthday gift. This was so sweet. And thank you to all of these small shop owners for putting out these gorgeous, amazing, incredible um, diamond painting products that we all get to love and enjoy. So um, let me know if you guys have any questions about any of these shops or anything that I shared with you today. Um, and remember to be nice and kind and understanding and patient with small shop owners, especially as we're going into the holiday season. Um, yeah, just share, share lots of love with them and be order well in advance and be super understanding um, because being kind is probably one of the nicest things you can do this holiday season. So anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. Uh, be sure to check out all these shops below and all their socials and whatnot. But otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up before you head on out. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, I'd love to have you consider subscribing for this uh, <laughs> more diamond painting content like this. All right, my friends, have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.